On stage three of the Thompson East Coast Line has opened for its first public unveiling. And where else should Singaporeans mark the occasion than in the heart of the city? Commuters from as far as Chua Shukong and Coven converged on Orchard Station for the opening ceremony and the chance to ride for free. Marcus Tan tells us more. With its central location and high pedestrian traffic, Orchard was the obvious choice to kick off the festivities. One of the oldest stations in the country, it is now one of four interchanges and 11 stations opening as part of the Thompson East Coast Line, or TEL. Under construction for more than eight years, this day has been highly anticipated. I find I can explore more MRT stations and I can, and it, what, how many years can it take to open the new MRT station? The convenience will be really helpful because the, the bus uh, services don't work very well out of Stevens. The expanded station now extends southwards beneath Orchard Boulevard with 13 entry points, one of the most on the rail network. This interchange and the rest of the TEL stations were designed with connectivity in mind. We hope that bringing MRT stations closer to homes and destinations will encourage more to use public transport. By building a more extensive MRT system, complemented by a pedestrian and cyclist-friendly network, we can create a more livable city and sustainable transport network of the future. The network also promises more convenient transfers. This tunnel is a new addition to Orchard, linking the old North-South Line to the new Thompson East Coast Line. When it fully opens on Sunday, commuters can use it to travel between platforms to continue their journeys. This line will grow even more with at least 12 other stations on the way along Singapore's east coast towards the airport. Tel 3 begins paid service on Sunday. Two, one.